An Australian invoice to India got into a Twitter spat as they traded barbs over the escalation of tensions in the South China Sea. The spat began after Australian High Commissioner to India expressed concern over China's actions in the South China Sea. Beijing's envoy to New Delhi has blamed Canberra for provoking escalation of tensions in the South China Sea region. Our ambassador Sun Wedong has tweeted, and I quote, China's territorial sovereignty and maritime rights and interests are in conformity with the international law, including the UN CLOs. It's clear who safeguard peace and stability and who destabilize and provoke escalation in the region, unquote. His comments were in response to Australian High Commissioner to India, Barry O'Farrell, who had earlier stated that Australia remains deeply concerned by the Chinese action in the South China Sea region that is destabilizing and could provoke escalation. After the Sun Wedong's claims over China following the international law and the UN CLOs, the UN Convention of the Law of the Sea, Barry O'Farrell took to Twitter to thank Wedong and ask him to follow the South China Sea arbitration. Farrell tweeted, and I quote, Thank you, Chinese ambassador to India. I would hope then you would follow the 2016 South China Sea Arbitral Award, which uh, is final and binding under international law and also generally refrain from actions that unilaterally alter the status quo." Unquote. Apart from South China Sea, the Australian High Commissioner criticised China over the border row in eastern Ladakh. The Australian envoy has stated opposition to Chinese attempts to unilaterally alter the status quo along the line of actual control. He stated that Australia supports continued moves towards de-escalation.